Hi, I'm Stuart and welcome to Sarnet Television. I'm going to take a look at a police Tahoe which has been set up by Starcar and ourselves here at Sarnet. The objective is to give you a chance to check out some of the equipment that we put onto this particular vehicle. It has an array of gear, essentially from Whelan, Sirenet, and sound off signal. So we're going to go ahead right now and check out the gear. Well, there you have it, a nice drive in the country. Let's go outside the vehicle right now and check out some of the lighting. Well, let's take a, a look at the front of this slick top vehicle. And by the way, when I mean slick top, what I'm talking about is the fact that there's no light bar on the roof of this vehicle. That's a, a standard terminology that's used here in the US and no doubt in other parts of the world as well. Now, this again is a, is a General Motors product. It's a Tahoe, it's a police package Tahoe. It's a non four x four variant of the Tahoe, so it's lower on the road, got special suspension included in this vehicle vis-a-vis -vis the police package. But what we're going to look at right now is the lighting configuration that's been set up in the front area. Let's start off first of all behind the grill, even though the lights are on. Inside the grill area here, we should be able to get a camera shot, you can see a Whelan SA315P siren speaker. And traditionally this is where you would mount a siren speaker or you can, because this vehicle is quite large, you can put two siren speakers in here should you need to do so. Then on the front of it here we have a Satina push bumper and this is designed to give additional protection to the front of the vehicle as well as by the name implies you can push a vehicle with that should the need arise. These products here are Whelan Lindsay 6s, they've been mounted inside this particular push bumper. And then on the left and right side of the push bumper itself, to give extra intersection protection, we have the Sarnet brand. This is the Sarnet SNGL1 mounted here. And these happen to be red and blue. And again, different safety colors are available. And by the way, different safety colors are available with the lighting package. It can be all red, it can be red white, red blue, even amber as well. Depending on the area that you work in, the lighting can work for you. On the lower area down here, we actually have the Whelan, this is the 2E series. Now again, it will work in this particular vehicle because of the way the fairing is built. It also has worked in the older Dodge Chargers, but there is bracketry available and you can surface mount this light as well. But in this case, it fits very nice into the lower air dam area down here in the fairing. And again, a nice potent light it is. Also included inside here are a sound off headlight flasher, which is what we have currently firing away in this area. Now again, some customers will put LEDs inside here if they decide to do that, i.e. Vertexes or a sound off product or even a Sarnet brand product LED could be mounted inside here or hideaway strobe as well. So you get to decide what will work for you. Let's take a look on the upper windscreen area of this vehicle. And what we have mounted in here, this is an inner pinnacle from sound off. Now again, there's a variety of interior lights available on siren net so this happens to be the pinnacle you could also have an, an inner edge as well 
Star SVP also makes a product as well and does Sirenet too. We have a new Sirenet brand light available. So again, it just depends on what type of lighting you want to put behind the windscreen. We possibly have the light that will work for you. On the outside area here, we have the sound off intersectors. This particular client wanted to do that. There's one on the left side and one on the right side. This one happens to be red. On the other side, it happens to be blue. Unity spotlights, of course, also available. And of course, the Sirenet high intensity either flood or spot is available to be mounted inside that. Check out the scene area on the Sirenet as well for that. Let's take a look inside the vehicle. Now right now when this vehicle has been set up it has a couple of interesting pieces of equipment. We have a Troy console which is mounted inside this vehicle. We have a little light light as you can correctly see there. That basically is a map light. Now also mounted in this vehicle, and this is not a product that we sell, but just to show you here, is a digital ally system which offers you a variety of different components. This vehicle has front and rear radar, it also has a front camera system and a rear prisoner ca camera system as well. And again, we could take a look at that in a moment. But the console is available on Sirenet, as is a Sirenet amplifier, as well as other components as well, all available on Sirenet. Let's take a look in the back here. In the back area, you have, this happens to be a Satina product, but you have a Satina screen with a recess panel. This is a window barrier that's being put in this vehicle, also a Satina product. Inside the vehicle itself, you have a Satina screen, as I mentioned a moment ago, with a recess panel. And the recess panel, let me reach in here and I can show you. This recess panel here is designed to allow you to mount a weapon system. This particular vehicle hasn't got it set up this way, but you can mount a weapon system vertically in that area or additional storage as well. On the back of the vehicle, we'll move along there in a second, we have Red Blue Avenger mounted here to give you a little side protection. And then on the rear of the vehicle, I'm going to lift up the tailgate here. We have a truck vault product mounted in the back here. Let me just turn this off real quick. Uh, this is a sound off rear deck light being mounted inside here. This is the Slim Light series product. Turn it back on. This has been set up, by the way, with an on off switch. There's also a LED dome light which will go to either red or blue. And what you're also seeing firing away here are vertex lights which have been set up in red and blue and the objective here is to give you additional protection to the rear of the vehicle when you lift this up because again in most cases you can obscure a light by lifting this up and also when you're working in this area you don't necessarily want to have a light flashing right in your face so if I turn this on it's broad daylight it's pretty intense so again this gives you the option to have these turned off when this is on or I can turn this off and then these go on. So again, from an installation perspective, you can work with your installer and how you want to do that. So a very, very nice setup from the gang over at Starcar and Sirenet. I'm Stuart. You had a quick look inside a Slick Top Tahoe.